So now you will break down the work for your project into issues, which are the manageable pieces of work needed to complete the project. In JIRA, teams use issues to track individual pieces of work that must be completed. So depending on how your team uses JIRA, an issue can represent anything like a project task, a help desk ticket, a leave request form, and so on. Let's go ahead and create our first issue. Go ahead and select Create in the top navigation pane. And here is where you can create and edit your issue. Now, I know this is taking up a lot of the screen, but no worry, you can always reduce it to half size or minimize it completely if you need to. Now, JIRA makes it pretty easy to identify, categorize, and distinguish between different types of work using something we call issue types. Now, out of the box, JIRA comes with the following issue types, task, epics, stories, and bugs. A task, of course, represents a task that needs to be done. An epic represents a larger body of work. Bugs represent a problem that needs to be fixed. And a story represents a requirement or a request. We'll go ahead and use a task as an issue type for now, but should you need to learn more about issue types, you can always do so by clicking the link under. After you have selected your issue type, go ahead and add as much information about the piece of work as possible and fill out the various issue fields. All of these fields that we're filling out right now are considered issue fields and are defaulted based on the project you chose. You can go ahead and name the task, maybe describe it to give more context to people looking into it, uh, you can assign it to yourself or to a team member. And as I mentioned, these are default issue fields, but I'm sure some of you guys are wondering if you can add a field like due date, or maybe your team needs to select information from a specific dropdown. Don't worry, I will show that next. For now, let's look at all the different field types. And if we don't need to fill anything else out, we can go ahead and create this issue. And there it is. Your new task will appear in the backlog or the board of your project, just depending on your project template. So as we mentioned, maybe you want there to be a specific order to fill out, or maybe you want a custom field. No problem, you'll just need to configure the issue. Select any issue as we've done here, then scroll to the bottom and click on that cog on the bottom right. Here is where you can edit your issue. You can reorganize the issue layout by simply dragging and dropping. You can add or even remove fields to better match your team's way of working. When adding a new field, let's use date, for example. You can also customize it to your use case. So you can name the field anything you want. We can name it date, you can name it due date, um, anything like that. And then you can decide to customize it a little bit more. You can also even choose whether fields are required to be filled out before someone can create the issue. And we also mentioned those four issue types earlier, but if needed, you can also add a new issue type and then customize it to your specific use case. You can always revisit issue types in your project settings later if needed. Now go ahead and make sure to save your changes. And now whenever you create a task in this project, it will always have these custom fields. Great, our task has been created. Let's go back to our project. Now, if you're wanting to be able to view all issues across one or more projects, you're going to go ahead and select the issue field, the issue field in the left navigation pane. Here, you can filter your issues by project, by issue type, uh, by status, or even assignee. An example of using this field is if you wanted to easily see all tasks that are assigned to you that are in the to-do status um, across multiple projects if needed. If you're looking for more advanced searches other than what's available in these filters, you can switch from basic to JIRA query language or JQL, and you can build structured queries this way.